Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine and I live in Northern Canada, close to the North Pole. We're at minus three today, which is very warm for this time of year. We had a put a snow dumped on us last night, but it's, today it's raining. It's very odd for us. I love the winter. It's very warm and sun, so no worries. I'm going to be reading from four decks. Oh, and please, if you could click the like button and subscribe, ring the bell, leave me a comment so I can get to know you better because I would really like to get to know you better. I've laid out the first deck. I'm going to be reading for four. Um, so just to save some time to try to keep it under 15 minutes. I started this way. The first card that came up for you was the Ten of Swords in reverse, which means you went through a lot of Pain, very painful, but it's over. It's over, and there's a sl slowly you're healing. With next to that was the Three of Wands. Under that was the Temperance. So patience with yourself, Sagittarius. Patience with yourself. You're healing. Allow that healing to take place. In fact. Four of Swords, it wouldn't hurt for you to just get into your pajamas and watch some movies and go, you know, do some meditations. Um, be lazy. Look within. Three of Wands, look at this. You're pulling in your success. This isn't just about, they say it. Three of Wands is about your ships coming in, but they're not just coming in, you're pulling them in. Four of Swords, we already touched on. Seven of Wands, you're picking your battles. You're stepping back and looking at things and going, okay, I'm going to pick my battles here because the battles I fight, I'm going to win. If I fight too many, because there's too many. Oh, I won't be as successful. You are picking your battles successfully. And you've given it great thought how you're going to execute these problems out of your life. Page of Coins. This is either you beginning a new project or someone offering you a new project. Someone offering you like a love and a new beginning with stability. What is so lovely about the page of coins is that they're just ready to get their hands dirty. Like, give me the job. I'm ready. Let's do it. It's a beautiful card. Knight of Cups. Someone sweeping you off your feet. Or you're ready to sweep someone off, off their feet. Uh, I was going to say something about that. And I just left. might confuse you a little bit, you know, like a whirly in the head. It's quite romantic. And it's coming in. It's coming in quickly. Six of coins. Whoever this person is is saying, hey, you want to start something with me? We could do it this way. We could plan it out that way. It'll be an equal give and take. And there will be a lot of generosity to boot. I'm going to pull out a couple more. Queen of Swords in reverse. Sagittarius. I know you can be very sharp-tongued. You, you cut to the chase. You don't mince words. Looks like you're being a little more diplomatic. This is the feeling I'm getting from this. You're being more diplomatic. Picking your battles. Thinking them through how you're going to execute that. And you're going to pull in the outcome successfully. Whoever this is offering you, it looks like love because of the Knight of Cups um, has stability. There's stability there. They want to start something new with you. Hey, let's do this. 
those trees. Four of wands. Oh my goodness. I don't think I need to go any further. Four of wands. This is a, a coming together, a building of a solid foundation, family, marriage. Let's call in your tribe. Let's call in Sage's tribe, their ancestors, guardian angels. Already here. Oh, oh, oh. Well, this kind of sheds light on what's going on. The hunter. Now, in light of you picking your battles, how you're going to execute, you've given great thought to how you're going to execute these things. You're the hunter. And the hunter never takes more than they need. Okay, where was I? The hunter. The hunter never takes more than they need. <clears throat> but I think this is because of the accuracy, what you have thought through uh, very carefully as to how you're going to execute your next plans, your next project, your next or your current relationship. I, here is where it shed a little light on things. The coyote, a trickster, deception. And I think you're seeing right through it, right through it. And this is why you have gone off to think about it. Picking your battles, choosing your words carefully. And pulling in what you want, how it will turn out. You're spot on. You can see the deception. You can see right through it. And if you don't, it's about to hit you. This lightning has everything to do with enlightenment, um, uncovering deception. You'll be very careful about this. Sag, and you will be very successful at it. Uh, I don't think anybody could do it better than you in this situation. Good for you. Go get him, Tiger. Let's pull some from the fairy deck. Spirit guide. Oh boy. I'll just keep that one. Spirit guide us. Guide Sag. Sagittarius. Messages for Sagittarius. All right, here we go. Okay. You have the Ace of Summer. That's also the Ace of Cups. Let's get that glare off of it. Look at that beautiful card. Look at you spreading your arms. I got a lot to offer. Or someone's coming in with an offer. Cups overflowing, new beginning, new beginning in love. Beautiful. Ten of spring. This is in line to me. Okay, that would be like the ten of wands. Laying down your burdens, saying, okay, I've been tolerating this for a long time. Carrying your load. No more. No more. You know why? Because it was very hurtful. And I'm starting to heal from it. The outcome. The sun. You win the sun. Plans work out perfectly. And you have amazing ideas to execute them. Be grateful. One more poll. This will be from the romance deck. Because after all, everybody needs a little romance. 
Well, I can tell you that for a decade, I wasn't interested in romance. It was like every time I was asked that, it was like, mm, no, thank you. I'm really happy on my own. Thank you very much. Here we go, Satch. For those who are coupled or single, let's have a look. Oh, here we go. Release your ex? Is that what this was all about? Is that what this was all about? Let go of the control issues? Actually, you don't need to have any control on the situation. You've gone within. You know how to execute it. This is for you. This is to do with self-worth, self-respect, self-esteem. This has all to do with you. Control issues. Perhaps someone has too many control issues uh, pertaining to you. Sagittarius, I know, can be controlling. But they are also with for the good of all. They're humanitarians. You deserve love. So if this has to do with releasing your ex, there's somebody out there that you know or that is coming in. Or you're involved with someone who's still involved with their ex. However, that resonates for you. But you deserve love because you are lovable. Absolutely. My oldest sister is a Sagittarius. Am I? absolutely adore her. That's your reading for this week, Sagittarius. Please click the like, subscribe, ring the bell, give me a comment so I can get to know you. I would love to get to know you better. Um, I will be back again. Uh, there's no time stamp on me so that if you catch this a few months from now, you might get something out of it. I hope you got something out of it. We'll see you again really soon, and God bless you. Bye for now.